black. So here's how to add texture to your mesh in Nomad Sculpt. So first you need the texture alpha. And alpha is just a square image of your texture. So I'm gonna go to Chrome and I'm going to find a texture. I'm gonna use Pexels. There's lots of free images you can use on Pexels. So now you just wanna make a square. So I'll just go to Procreate. I'll do a, a square. So now I have a square and I'm going to change it to black and white. So now we're back inside Nomad and I'm going to import that alpha, that image. The sphere is only 6,000 uh, vertices, so it's not very dense. So we'll get to that a little bit later. I like to use, let's validate it. I like to use the brush tool and then I come down here and I press this, and you can have import. So I'm gonna import, photo, tap on the hair, add, and now we have the hair. So I'm gonna change the sculpt to Metcap, that way the texture will be easier to see, and the model will be easier to see. I usually sculpt in Metcap. I'm gonna go here, and Metcap, and I just like to use this default one. So now we'll go to our brush and you see that it's still selected here and you'll also see it up here when you go to the brush options. So we have our alpha. If it's not there, then just tap on it and then just choose uh, your hair or whatever texture you want. Oops, uh, invert pixels inverts them. We don't need that. Okay, so here are my settings. I don't have these selected. Scaling is at one. And yours might be on surface. I like to put it on screen project. Tiling X and Y are on repeat. Fall off, yours might be different. I tap on the window and I use this flat fall off. Stroke spacing is 13. Lazy ropes at 10. Stroke type is dot. So I'm gonna show you dot and grab dynamic in this tutorial and just uh, allow dynamic topology, but we're not gonna use that. So those are my settings. Okay, so we can't put the texture on quite yet because if you just put it on, it'll be a mess like this. So what I like to do is first subdivide it a few times. So we have to go up here, multi-res, subdivide. So we'll subdivide twice to 98.3K. And also I like to make the brush really big and then turn the intensity down really, really low. So now let's see how it looks. And you notice there's some issues and this is because we have symmetry on. So let's turn symmetry off. And I'm pressing really lightly and you can see some texture. And sometimes it does this annoying thing, so you just have to be careful of that. But let's try subdivi uh, subdividing one more time. Now it's huge, it's 393, but this will probably look the best in terms of matching our alpha. Let's see what happens if we're farther back. That's from farther back. So it's not too bad. Um, I have a bunch of different textures saved. If I want like a wood texture, I use this, the wood alpha. I'm doing like bumps, like bumpy skin or something. Oh, that looks bad. I'll do something like that. And there's all sorts of uh, there's all sorts of textures you can use and make some really cool things. Okay, so after trying a few different options 
to try and get rid of the line. Uh, I think what I'll go with is leaving tiling at none because I don't really want any tiling. So I'm going to leave this at none. Uh, I'm going to leave the fall off here. And you just have to be careful because there will be some, there will be some tiling I've noticed. So if I'm scribbling hard, well, I don't see any now. But a moment ago, there was. I really want to do something with all that texture. So, so far this is working well. You can see that at some points there's a little bit of a tiling, but it's actually not too bad. So I'm going to leave it at none. Uh, hopefully that helps. I kind of went through everything just now because I always try to, sometimes I'll make a tutorial and then I find a better way to do it. So sort of just rolled through all this stuff and played around with it. And I think this is how I'll leave it because this seems to be the, the most efficient uh, way to do it so far. And I think it looks pretty good. All right. So hopefully that helped again. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.